Hello, this is Julia, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make Windows Update work on um, Windows XP with no service packs installed. Now, yes, this is a Spanish version of Windows XP. It was the only version I could find without any, just to test around and stuff. As you can see, it just says Windows XP Professional Version 2002. So, in this video, um, it's actually quite simple, but first, let me show you. Here's, like, for example, things that won't install if you don't have um, Windows updated. I noticed .NET Framework doesn't install 3.5. .NET 4 just gives an error, like, saying it couldn't find a DLL. And then this one does something different. So let me show you right now. And yeah, I don't know why. Now it's all in Spanish. Um... It wasn't in Spanish before, um, but basically saying I need the required updates. Um, so, um, I don't know which button it does what. Actually, give me one second while I change a few language settings real fast. Alright, so I changed a few language things, so hopefully we'll see. Now, it's just, um, I just went the regular control panel. I couldn't do everything. Let's try this .NET again and see if it is in English this time. Um, no, it's not actually in English. Um, I'm going to show you actually something I watched on a YouTube video. I think this is actually what made it English. Was you go... Now, this is not part of like how to get it to work, but this is like if you have a different language, Windows XP, and you want to make it English... Start, run, you go type reg edit, and then you go to, I'm looking at something, HQ local machine system, then you go to control set zero zero, and then you go to control, and then you go to this, and language. Um, then you're going to scroll all the way down. To these two files, default and install language, and they both have to be 0419. You can see that one is, but this one isn't. So we're going to put 0409. So that won't change everything, but it will certainly change the language when you install programs to English. Maybe not. That's weird. It did before. Um, this used to be all English. Um, let me try a reboot of the system. I'll be back. Alright guys, I did a reboot, and, and now that this is in English, you can see, um, .NET Framework won't install because it doesn't have Windows XP Service Pack 2, and, well, Microsoft Windows Installer 3.1. Um, so you can see, like, Firefox, for example, will install because it says SP2 or newer. It seems like it's always SP2 or newer. IE7 won't install either because it says it doesn't support the current service pack version. Another one is this one, which is, I think, Visual C++ 2010. Yeah, it says it right there. IE8 won't install either. Except it gives some DLL error, which this is in Spanish still. Um, and you're probably surprised. Service Pack 3 won't install either. Which probably shocks you guys, because you guys are like, probably like, well, that's an update, you know. That's an important update, and it won't install. Well, you guys are probably, why won't it install, right? Well, the reason why it won't install is because of this. It needs to have at least Service Pack 1 installed in order to update to Service Pack 3. However, it can go from from 0, from SP0 to SP2, as I discovered. Um, so SP2 would probably work. So, you can see these are a bunch of things that won't install because it's it's Windows XP without any Service Packs. But you guys are probably like, well, can't you just like go to Windows Update and do updates on there? Well, the thing is, Windows Update does not open in Windows XP SP0. Um, at all, and it's trying to bring me to this. If you look up this number, it tells you it won't. It's it's bring up a page saying it won't start, and you should do all these options to try to fix it. But no, you guys just installed the Windows Update Agent, 
and you should be able to get Windows updates on Windows XP SP0, which I discovered this does install. So in fact, I'm going to install it right now. So now it says install the Windows Update Agent, and I'm going to push Next, tell it I agree, push Next again, and now it's being installed on the computer. So after this is installed, it will actually add the automatic updates in the control panel as it's never there itself until now. You can see this has been added. That was never that was never there before. I think when I went to the control panel, you saw it wasn't there. So in a few minutes, it's going to pop up something about automatic updates down here to enable it or something. As you'll see in one second, which I'll pause the video. It probably only took a minute until this popped up on the screen. So you can click on it. You can turn on all updates. I can just tell it to install at 12 p.m. Um, hit OK, except we're going to change that and go in here. I'm going to tell it to notify me to download them since it's just a virtual machine, but you guys should do automatic. So, in one minute, you're going to see it's going to pop up down here to download updates. So, I'm going to pause the video and come back when it actually pops up. Alright, you can see it says updates are ready for your computer and click to download. So, we're going to click on that. And first, you're going to see this. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It's supposedly something to do with the updates to help ensure an optional download experience with future versions of automatic updates and Windows updates. So I'm just going to click download on this. And you're going to see it's going to download and it's going to pop up to install in just a second. So now you can see it says click here to install. I found an update. You probably notice it's in English. This is actually in English, even though the operating system's in Spanish. Is it because of that registry thing I did in the, earlier in this video, which made it to where programs you download are in English, but the OS is still in Spanish. However, if I heard if you download a service pack, it will make the whole operating system in English from that hack. And there's other numbers you can type in there to change it to different languages. And when new things are installed, it makes it English. So when a new service pack is installed, it makes the whole OS English in that case. I know this because I tested this earlier. So anyways, I'm going to pause the video and come back when it comes back. All right, guys, I can see it says updates already again. But just to show you guys real quick, this is Windows XP. With nothing on it. It's just a, like, the gold edition, basically, where there's, like, you know, no updates installed. It's a, from, like, 2001. You can see the Windows updates look really weird. You can see that they have the numbers and the security update and security update and critical update. I mean, look how bizarre looking. And Q, there's even Qs, like Q32325. I think that's what they used to do before they had KBs. Because these are not KBs. That's kind of like a KB, but it's not. It's just the numbers without KB. Except that has KB, and that those have KB. And then look at Windows XP Service Pack 2 and get better protection against viruses and hackers and worms. I like this. I've never seen the description of it because I've never actually had to install it through automatic updates. I've never done that before. So you can see this. Now, I got this Windows XP image from a YouTube video. I don't know if it's genuine, so I'm going to uncheck Genuine Advantage just in case for the purposes of this video so I can show you what the installs process looks like without it saying it's not genuine or something happening there. So you can see this is what updates used to look like back then, which is really strange. And just to pull up the system properties again, look at this. Like, you guys, if you want, you guys can take a screenshot of this if you'd like to and show someone. Look at someone got updates working on XPSP0. Well, yes, I did. I indeed did. Well, well, I'm going to download these. And you notice know, the links. There's even links to them. However, I don't think IE6 can open them, see? Or maybe they're not existent anymore. So I'm going to download that. And I'm just going to tell it don't notify me about that update again. Um, after this video, I might just delete this virtual machine. But yeah, you just download this Windows Update Agent, and I don't want to install it again. So why did it click on it again? I don't know. So, yeah.
pretty much it's all you do. I can show you a little bit of like the install process and stuff of the updates working. It's actually legitly working down here. And it's amazing. I, I actually figured this out myself. Now you can see the OS is still in Spanish, but that's in English. But once you install a service pack on there, it should put it back to English if you have the settings in the registry selected. So if you guys end up installing a Spanish version of XP, it's how you can ch change it back to English. But note, you have to install a service pack. And you can do that through Windows Update, or you can download one in English or whatever language you have. And it should totally make it English again, as it did for me. A few things didn't change, but for the most part, everything changed over. So, pretty cool. And, and so, yeah. Well, anyways, I'm going to pause the video and come back when it asks to install the updates. I'm going to try to have a link in the description of the Windows Update Agent. Um, I got it from a website. And I had a link to I think this might be the one off Microsoft. I'm not sure. Like, the link might have went to Microsoft. I don't know where it went. But I'm going to try to get the link and put it in the description. If not, you can look up Windows Update Agent for Windows XP. And you should be able to find a download for it. So, anyways, I'm going to come back when it asks to install. Alright, so now it says click to install. You can see it found... 14 updates. I think it's the same updates I just downloaded. You can see they're really weird back then. I, I've never seen this ever. It's the strangest thing. You can see all the updates, and if you want to, you know. So, yeah, all these updates, and so I'm going to install all of them. And you can saw there's only one KB in there, which is Malicious Software Removal Tool, which installs on anything, pretty much. So... You can see the updates are indeed installing right now, and amazing. I can't believe I found a way to get Windows updates working on this just by my experience. I was just testing random things to seeing if they installed, and I installed the update agent, and I swear I saw this update thing down here. I was about to freak out. Like, did I just find out a way to make updates work on here? Like, wow, that was amazing. So anyways, I'm going to pause the video and come back when this is done so I can kind of show you a little bit of the update process. So you can see they're still installing. I just came back to show you that they're still going, so I'll be back. So right now it asks to reboot, so let's just reboot, and I'm going to come back when it's done rebooting. Well, I'm back, and I can see the icon came back and says updates are ready. Click to install. Found an update. We already know what that is. Service Pack 2. So we're going to go ahead and, and install Service Pack 2. See, it doesn't even have a KB number. Even though Service Pack 2 did legitly have a KB number, which I think was 835935 KB, um, I believe. It did have a KB, it's just not telling us for some odd reason. So, anyways, you can see... After this installs, the whole OS should be in English. Because you can see this is in Spanish, but you can see this service pack and this is in English. Because when we did the registry hack, it made some things in English, and then the OS is still in Spanish until we install this. So I'm going to come back when this is, like, close to being done installing. Just want to show you real quick, you can see it, it, what it is installing. It's running processes after install now, and I'll come back when it's done. It's done, so we're going to have it restart. I'm going to come back when something else happens. So now it says, please wait, and then look at this. This looks like it's completely in English. We're going to tell it not now. And then, watch this, guys. You're about to freak out. This thing is going to be in English. So, we'll just wait a second and come back. Look at this, guys. It says welcome. It didn't say that before, because this is now completely in English. Yay! So now you can see it's completely in English. It says start. See the, the pictures, for some bizarre reason, still in Spanish. You may have a problem with Windows Update, as I did, but if you reboot, it should fix it. So now it's installing things like Windows Installer and stuff, so now you can just continue on updating it and stuff like that. So my video camera thing's running out of time, so thanks for watching, and that's how you get 
Windows XP SP0 to update, just the update agent. So thanks for watching.